when the shaft went down to its full depth, the engineers and the surveyors went down and started marking the face because it's all rock then. You're hitting bedrock for the drive across the river. They went down with the theodolites and got cracking. And then what happened then was the pit boss used to go down and I used to go with him and he used to mark off where the holes had to be drilled for blasting because everything then, once you hit the rock, the bedrock, you had to blast. So what he used to do was mark where he wanted the, the, the miners to drill to put the dynamite in, it was all dynamite, and two tails hanging out of each one, maybe four or five holes a foot deep or whatever. The dynamite was inserted like a sausage with two wires hanging out. You used to stem them up, the miners, with a brush shank, and, and then pack a bit of uh, clay or whatever they had uh, in to stop the thing from coming out. I used to go down with a galvanometer which was a little uh, instrument for measuring to check. I had to wire the circuit up, the series circuit that was all the dynamite, all the charges. The galvanometer was to prove that the circuit was correct, that there was no break. A very tiny little instrument, a millivolt because it didn't take much to set that little lot off. Once I was sure that everything was all right, I used to hook the two tails, the wires to the surface for blasting, connect them up, take me lights, put them under the, the platform. And the idea was when you blasted, it just loosened the rock and everything, and it fell on the platform and it was easily shoveled into the skip by the miner and it was winched back to the bottom of the shaft and lifted out with the crane. And once you heard the explosion, of course the miners had all gone out by this time, before me. And uh, once you heard the explosion, then you had to wait until the cordite drifted down the, the shaft, down the heading and up through the shop. Because if you got a whiff of the cordite, you were finished for the rest of the day. It was poison. I got one little whiff once, and I made sure after that I was nowhere near.